<laughs> How's everyone doing? See, this is dangerous dawah, guys. This is dangerous dawah. <laughs> you know, and uh, you know, it's what is it? The Young Muslim Network, yeah? Yeah, yeah. It's all live. It's all there. live and exclusive. At the Young Muslims Network. <laughs> but yeah, it's all good. Say you're not in here. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Police officer there. Do you know what? To be honest, they've been fair with us. Now, police been always. There's a couple of them that I don't like, but these guys were the good ones. Now, they didn't know who was who. <laughs> these ones were the good ones here. Sealed. Exact phrase you yes, use, that yes. kid. One second, don't forget that. here today by George the organizer by Lady Lucy and she I she really made it public. She bro made it public. I want to thank her so much here yeah. she sticks to our principles she believes in freedom of speech and she defended it today by defending me Lucy organized it and she also Kaylin also yeah, Kaylin yeah. also Kaylin these three said a, Ali you, you they said Ali you are you are allowed to come here yeah? What happened? I knew it. I said two things are going to happen. Either they're going to let me speak, which I'm going to be like, wow, like, I was going to be surprised, yeah? <laughs> I was going to give my freedom of speech, my freedom of speech, yeah? And walk off casually, even if they say boo, whatever, yeah? At least you'll give me the opportunity. What happened today? You're not allowed to come. Why? Um, uh, yeah, there, there's some issues. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you where to go. Uh, We're going to go to an anti-fuck. Yes, like, we, have, we have more in common with them. Gonna, listen, listen, yeah. I just want to make one point before you go, yeah? You cannot take my show. No, no, no. <laughs> It's, it is. This is. This, this has been um, fully exposed as a pretense because really, what, what this was, he, were, he had a formal invitation from one of the organisers yes. to go. So we came obviously yes. as a team, as we do work together as a team, yeah. to go in. And what happened was, we were attacked physically. We actually attacked physically. It's on, right it's on camera. Yeah. It's on camera. What I was going to say was, so it's a pretense. So the point is this: that ultra rightists are now trying their best to try and win over the mainstream. Actually, what they are really are, they're white separatists, assimilationists, uh, white supremacists, you know, uh, ultra rightists and that's what they are. That's what they stand for. They've used those but, two Muslims as a smokescreen. Yeah, yeah. And that is the perniciousness of Robinson's politics. Yeah. He, he's a blatant opportunist. Yeah, yeah, you guys yeah, were yeah, used yeah, as a tool. Yeah, yeah. I was right in between them. And, and I actually, ironically, by the way, I'm a Muslim as well. I'm a secular Muslim. My name is Haldun. Nice to meet you. Habibi. But the dangerous thing is, this is Robinson's politics. Well, about he Tocqueville and about J.S. Mill and about John Locke and these individuals that champion it, then why not talk about uh, tyranny of the majority, protecting minority rights? These yeah. are the things that are mentioned in the Instead, book. Instead, Sergeant Trump, can yes. I give you a perfect example of the freedom of speech Tommy Robinson stands for? The freedom of speech that Tommy Robinson stands for is his support to all of them. Punching him and his other Muslim friends and calling them pedophiles across the street, followed with physical violence. This is the freedom of speech Tommy Robinson stands for. This is his politics, nothing else. He's a typical career politician coming from the right wing spectrum. This is not about freedom of speech at all, unless the one he is stipulating. And that includes calling Muslims pedophiles. That is his idea of freedom of speech. That is what this is about. And he tries to gather as many people, as many working class people, and so-called token people from ethnic and religious backgrounds as well, just to forge even more power behind him. And I'm really scared that people will fall for that. Don't. Don't fall for that. The guys will look at my hands at this. I put it in. There's no time for talking, they're all like, I put it in, yeah. This saved me. Bro, everybody, every Muslim, non-Muslim, everyone who was uh, vulnerable for attack, 
buy this. We'll be selling on okay. products soon. Three, four, I'm gonna get, oh, yeah. It's going to be on OSCC Dawa. <laughs> Trust me. That was the product. <laughs> Three, four pounds. It will save your teeth from going. And do you know what happens, yeah? When we put it in, when we put it in, and you, and you clench down, I think it has some kind of effect on the, on the jaw. So it allows you to take more of a shot.
19th of May in Manchester is extraordinarily important because the Football Lads Alliance themselves are in trouble. If we can get the numbers out in Manchester, we can buy the Football Lads Alliance and that would be a big step forward. So we have to go back after today into the groups you're organising, into your workplaces and colleges and the groupings and say that Manchester is important, that people have to come out on the 19th of May. And actually, if you look at what's going on in the city, there is a big mobilisation going on in Manchester against the yeah. people because they are using the bodies of those who die oh, in the attack of the Manchester Arena and party politics. That's what they're doing in order to build the far right. Uh, and so it can break the FLA if we get the mobilisation on the day. But we've got to go back and start to argue. The province and the people are no longer a joke. It's not the ECL guys. It's not a couple of hundred of all. This is a turn up into town, right? There are three or four thousand of them today. They didn't get the ten thousand they wanted. They're not breaking through at that level. And that's because people are mobilising against them. That's because people exposed what the FLA was about. But we have to make sure that when we get to Manchester, we have got the numbers. And that means we have got to send the message out into the networks that we represent. Otherwise, there'll be standoffs going on like this forever, and we don't want the FLA to be able to march through a city over the dead bodies of the kids and people who were killed in that attack. It is a fucking disgrace. People, there are animals doing that. And that's why the brother of one of the victims of the bombings has come out and led up the campaign in Manchester against what they are doing. So put the date into your diary. The 19th of May, wherever you're from, let's get people up there and let's get rid of the FLA. They are in trouble. That is why Tommy Robinson has come from the margins into the middle ground again. Because they can't build wider, so they're trying to build nastier, and that is why they're linking up with the far right and the Nazis again, instead of pretending that they are some kind of human rights organisation, which is what they were doing a couple of weeks ago. So we're going to march out now, we're going to march straight down Westminster Tube Station, right stuff over it, and disperse, because probably like most of you, I don't want to spend the next three hours surrounded by police having to keep singing, right stuff about it. But remember the 19th, we've got to get to a stage where we mark the minority on the street, so have a committee or have a brave, we've got to get to the stage where we're the majority on the street. Right. So we're going to move. Saying, no, you can't. So hold on a second, you are the same guy holding this event for freedom of speech, but you 
But does that, does that mean you can't actually turn up or you just can't no, have a microphone? No, 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 no. The whole point of the speech, the talk, the event is speaking the speech. So it's not about, I'm not saying I was just some, any guy just walking past. It was arranged and the time slot was called for me to come and then I was denied. It's actually defeating the whole purpose of the event. Like absolutely defeating the whole purpose of the event because I was told to come. I was told to come. just to be clear, like you, you had a slot and everything. Of you course, 10 past three. They even said to me, 10 minutes were going up. And then who, who cancelled you out? What, he came to you direct? Not that, of course he can't come to you direct. You know, you know he can't come to you direct. So he came and cancelled it. And this is exactly what How do you know it was him? I know, because whoever was coming to me saying Tommy Payton. No. Tommy Payton. No. So the thing here is... The thing about... Is that... Watch it, guys. Twitter shut his account. Firstly, right for the soul, because he's feeling hate. But what, why, why is that right to do then, but not... No, 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 what, I, what I'm trying to say is this. My issue is this, yeah? He told that I do an opinion that that doesn't say whatever you like, whoever says it. You're holding that. I'm not. I'm putting that opinion to the test. I'm coming here to say, you know what? Okay, you believe in this. Let's see if you really believe in this. No, you don't believe in this. No, it wasn't the council. It was like... Because what happened today is, there's a group that you don't believe that. Because if you did, you would say, you know what? I don't agree with this guy. Like, what is it? Was it Volta? What did he say? He said that. He said, I... He's like... I